Hello, brethren. Welcome to Brunch. My name is Scone, otherwise known as Scone of Gaming, and today we are examining some of Genshin Impact's deepest, darkest content. Artifact Domains. Artifact Domains are like onions, in that Artifact Domains have layers and layers of RNG. The more you peel back, the more you find underneath. At the surface level, we have Artifact Domains guaranteeing one of two sets. This means upon completing an Artifact Domain, you are not even guaranteed to get the exclusives that you want. You have a chance to get the set you want. Beneath that, you have Artifact Rarity. You have 5-star, 4-star, and 3-star artifacts. With the 5-star artifacts becoming more and more rare, the higher your world level and your adventure rank increases. Beneath that, you have Artifact Main Stats. Then you have Artifact Substats. Then you have Artifact Substat Amounts. And then you have the rolls into your Artifact Substats. Each of these levels of RNG just adds another component, making it harder and harder to get the perfect artifact that you desire, which leads to the second way in that artifact domains are like onions. The more you do them, the more that you cut into them and chop them up, the more you want to cry. One common piece of advice from Gidget Impact's community to help mitigate this layer upon layer of RNG system is that you should wait until AR45 to begin your artifact grind. The reason for this being that upon reaching AR45 and increasing your world level, you are finally able to guarantee one 5-star artifact run per artifact domain. Since you have that one 5-star guaranteed, theoretically it should be easier to get that perfect piece that you desire. So that's exactly what I did. I saved all of my Fragile Resin until AR45 from when I started this game. That gave me 58 Fragile Resin in total, upon which I'm spending 50. I also had 5 Condensed Resin, giving me 3,200 resin to spend, gambling it away on artifact domains over the course of 160 runs worth. I did use condensed resin exclusively, giving me about 80 runs worth, but it's the equivalent of 160. And so, doing what any normal sane person would do, I gambled it away over the course of four hours and one night. I did 20 runs of Midsummer Courtyard, 20 Valley of Remembrance, 20 Peak of Vendineer, 40 Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern, and 60 Ridge Watch. You can break it down however you want. The reason I did it is I put 60 runs into the artifact domain that would give my main character, Eula, the set that I desire for her, which is the Pale Flame set. I put 40 runs, the next highest amount, into the domain that gives the Noblesse Oblige set because I believe that is an amazing set that can be used on many different supports. And the other artifact domains, the other three that I did, 20 runs each, were to get some artifacts for my other support or secondary team characters that I just didn't want to leave totally to the wayside. After all, I do love my Eula, but she can't do everything by herself. She does need a team built around her. Now that all the explanations are laid, it's time to find out. Is it actually worth it to save until AR45? Let's find out. Now that that montage is over, exactly how many artifacts did I end up with? I started out with 19 5-star artifacts and 135 4-star artifacts. I ended up with 190 5-star artifacts, 10 times the original amount, and I ended up with 531 4-star artifacts, a little bit over 3 times the amount. All in all, I got a lot of blue artifacts as well, 
so many that I had to fodder some into some of the five star and four star artifacts I'd earned to make inventory space because at about run 55, I ended up hitting the artifact inventory cap of 1000. Now, the total amount of artifacts doesn't actually matter if none of them are usable. So the big question is, was it worth it? Did I get enough to make it worth it to save literally all of my fragile resin until AR45? Hell yeah. I got AR46 out of the deal. I got a constellation for Aether. I got two more fragile resin for my adventure rank rewards. Hells yeah, so worth it. Um, but in all seriousness, I'd say yes and no. To give you an idea of how hard it is to get the proper artifacts for your characters, if you're looking for that perfect artifact, for my Eula, I'm looking for the Pale Flame set, so I did 60 runs of Ridge Watch. Out of those 60 runs, for my attack sands, I only got two sands with the main attack stat. Only two. That includes five stars and four stars. That is a ridiculously low drop rate, which should give you an idea of how hard it is to get that perfect attack sands piece, or any other piece for that matter, with the good substats, with the proper rolls into those substats. It just goes on and on and on, layering on more and more layers of RNG, making it ever harder to get that perfect substat. Now, I did get plenty of artifacts that are usable, and it's not like it was an entire waste. My entire teams have artifacts in the sets I want with enough usable substats where they weren't worse than the artifacts they had before. So overall, it was a net upgrade. That being said, I don't think it's worth spending 50 Fragile Resin on. I think that you could definitely afford to save some to spend it on other things that will get you more mileage for the resin for your characters. I won't get into the nitty gritty because other content creators have done it before and have done it way better than I could have. Uh, for example, shout out to Sekapoko, who made an excellent guide on what is the most efficient way to upgrade your character for Mora. In a sense, the same thing can be applied to resin. Beyond a certain point, you're going to get diminishing returns looking for more and more artifacts. The better artifacts you get, the harder it will be to upgrade those artifacts in the future. So you're better off spending your resin on things like upgrading your characters, upgrading your weapons, upgrading your talents, etc., etc., Honestly, at some point, it might be better to use resin on things like the ley lines for Mora instead of artifact domains, because artifacts also require a crap ton of Mora to upgrade, and you might get more bang for your buck out of something else. But just because you might get more bang for your buck out of something else doesn't mean you should ignore the artifact domains entirely upon reaching AR-45. I think it's relative based on the artifacts you get. I would keep track of the artifacts you get, see if there are any that are good or worth using. And then after 60, 70, 80 runs and you're 20 fragile resin in, 30 fragile resin in, I think it'd be a good idea to stop and examine where you're at with your characters. If you have decent enough artifacts, you could 100% get away with stopping there and focusing on your characters. You could very well get more mileage out of upgrading your supports to that next ascension rank to get them to level 60 or 70, get everybody's weapons up to the next ascension rate, get them all the way up to level 80, get your main characters and your sub DPS characters all the way up to level 80, get your talents up to rank six on everybody and on your main and sub DPSs, get them up to like rank nine, rank eight at the very least, and then go back to farming artifacts once you get that upgrade up. In the end, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is that the artifact grind is Genshin's true end game. Spiral Abyss might have the label of Endgame, but the only thing that is truly repeatable that might give you more and more each time that can keep you searching for something that's better and better, the only infinite upgrade system that exists in the game is the artifact domains. Genshin knows this. The reason that it's so layered with RNG is to make it so that you have to keep doing it. You have to keep investing in it in order to get something out of it. You hope and you dream about getting that perfect artifact. And you might get that one perfect artifact after 1,000 runs, but then you have to do another 1,000 to get that next perfect artifact. And by then, six new characters have come out, and you might want to play one of the new six. Mihoyo knows what they're doing with the artifact domains, so don't fall for the trap that you have to put everything that you can in them. You'll get much further upgrading everything else first and artifacts second, assuming that you have the proper baseline artifacts. In the end, that's what this video is about. 
recommending that you get that proper baseline of artifacts and then moving on with your life until you need some more. All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you for coming. Hope you guys liked it or found it useful or both for that matter. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to brunch.